Mana wewe uko uko Nani ya Mana wewe uko Yesu Mana wewe uko Nani ya Mana wewe uko Yesu Mana wewe uko Nani ya Mana wewe Mana wewe uko Nani ya Umeifanya ibada Ni kwa budu Yesu Umenipa kutumika Chini ya pendo lako Amlaka na nguvu ninazo Kufanya lolote utakalo Manawe uko nani yangu Manawe uko yesu nani yangu Chapia tena Yesu makofi na vigelegele Chapa makofi na vigelegele kama hiko ndani mwako Hallelujah Hallelujah Jina la buwana kipewe sifa Amen, Amen Basi tunaweza tukaketi Asante kwa jiri ya ibada njema Tunashukuru sana Kwa jiri ya praise team Na viongozi wake Jina la buwana kipewe sifa na kuenda kufundisha ngoja nitoe barakoa ili niwe huru kidogo haleluya kusoma wote katika kitabu cha mwanzo sura ya 4 mstari wa 26 na biblia yangu inasema hivi in fact tuanze mstari wa 25 adamu akamjua mke wake tena akazaa mwana mwanamume akamuita jina lake seti maana alisema Mungu ameniwekea uzao mwingine mahali pa habiri kwa sababu ya kaini alimuua. Sethi naye akazaa mwana akamuita jina lake Enoshi. Hapo ndipo watu walipoanza kuliitia jina la Bwana. Na kwenda kurudia ule mstari wa 26B. Hapo ndipo watu walipoanza kuliitia jina la Bwana. Then Tomba. men began to call upon the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Asante ndugu amenini tangulia. Tuombe. Jehova mwaminifu katika jina la Yesu. Asante kwa ajili ya Jumapili hii ambayo Mungu umeiweka wakfu watu kote duniani wa kujie wewe mfalme. Na baba tunasema asante maana uko Mungu naitika hata tukiliita jina lako kama maandiko yanavyosema tulivyosoma katika kitabu cha mwanzo kwamba hapo ndipo watu walipoanza kuliitia jina la Bwana nasi baba tuko mahali hapa kuliitia jina lako tumekuwa tukiliitia jina lako na tutazidi kuliitia jina hilo jina lenye nguvu lenye uweza na mamlaka yote mfalme baba tuna katika mchana huwa leo ninaomba mafundisho haya yapate kibali mbele zako na mbele za watoto wako katika jina la Yesu Kristo kila roho zenye kunyang'anya mbegu ya neno lako jema baba ninapinga katika jina la Yesu. Nami Bwana ninajiweka chini ya uongozi wa roho wako mtakatifu. Kila neno, kila wazo ni semalo. Baba likapate kibali mbele zako, likatoke katika enzi yako Jehova katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Everybody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Napenda kuendelea kuwafundisha somo ninasema nguvu ya kuliitia jina la Bwana katika kuleta uamsho. I'll teach today about the power of calling on the name of God uh, for revival. Hallelujah. Amen. Nguvu ya kuliitia jina la Bwana katika kuleta uamsho. The power of calling on the name of God for revival. Wiki mbili zilizopita nilifundisha nguvu ya injiri katika kuleta uamsho. Last uh, two weeks ago I taught about the good news on how to bring revival. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise God. Lakini leo napenda niwafundishe kuhusu nguvu ya kuliitia jina la Bwana. But today I want us to I wanted to teach about the power of calling on the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Wangapi mnalipenda jina la Bwana? How many love the name of the Lord? Amen. Amen. Yawezekana hawajakupa jina zuri sana. They may not have given you a good name. Lakini jina la Mungu wako. But the name of your God. Ni jina lipitalo majina yote. It's the name above all other names. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise the name of God. Nasema jina la Mungu wako. I said the name of your God. Jina la Mungu wangu. The name of my God. Ni jina lipitalo majina yote. It's the name above all other names. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise the name of God. Ni jina ambalo liki 
zikitajwa katika Yesu. And name when it's mentioned on the throne. Mapepo na mashetani demons and all. Wanachanganyikiwa. They get confused. Huwa tunapewa habari kwamba wanasema ushiritaji jina hilo mahali hapa. They don't say the name of the Lord here. Katika vikao vya giza. In the meetings of darkness. Katika vikao vya kichawi. In the darkness in the meeting of the witches. Unaweza kutaja Yohana? You may say John. Unaweza kutaja Athmani na Abdala. You may say uh Abdu Abdu lakini watu wasishangae but people will not be shocked wala wasishituke oh they will not be surprised lakini ukitaja jina la Yesu but when it's called the name of Jesus ukitaja jina la Bwana when you call the name of the Lord watu wanataharuki many people they start to uh, run away bwana yesu asifiwe sana praise the name of god watu wanachanganyikiwa people get confused haleluya amen sitaki nihubiri peke yangu i don't want to preach alone amen amen sitaki nihubiri peke yangu i don't want to preach alone haleluya amen unaweza kusubiria sombe baadaye lakini muda huu you can wait for sombe next other time neno la mungu but at this time i want you to follow the word i hate preaching to myself nisipendi kujihubiria haleluya amen i want to preach to myself and preach to you too nataka nijihubirie na nikupe haleluya amen and i want you to receive na ninataka Upokei. In Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise the name of Mwambie God. Mwambie jirani fungua moyo wako. Tell your neighbor to open your heart. Mwambie jirani yako kwa nguvu fungua moyo wako. Tell your neighbor powerfully open your heart. Hallelujah. Amen. Sijui kitu gani kilikuwa kinatokea kabla ya hii sura ya 4 tumesoma. I don't know what happened before this uh, chapter 4. Lakini tumefika katika mstari wa 26. But we got to verse 26. Neno linasema hapo ndipo watu walipoanza kulitia jina la Bwana. The Bible said that is when the men of uh, the human start calling on the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise God. Yawezekana walikuwa wanafanya vitu vingine. Maybe they used to do other things. Yawezekana walikuwa wameingia katika mambo mengine. Maybe they were into something else. Ambaye hayana kitu chochote na kufanya na mambo ya Mungu. They had nothing to do with the word of word of, word of the Lord. Yawezekana walikuwa wamejitumainia kwa muda mrefu. Maybe they depended on themselves a lot. Labda walipeana majina makubwa. Maybe they gave each other big names. Labda walitegemea nguvu za giza. Maybe they depended on dark uh, dark power. Maana hata katika ulimwengu wa giza because even in the dark part wana the majina yao they have their own name na ile majina and those names yanamaanisha yana kitu fulani cha uweza fulani they mean other things bwana yesu asifiwe sana praise god yawezekana watu nyakati hizi it might that uh, people during that time walikuwa wamemsahau mungu they had forgotten about god bwana yesu asifiwe sana praise god lakini kitu fulani kikatokea but something happened there was a shift kulikuwa uh, mabadiliko haleluya amen sema there was a shift sema kulikuwa mabadiliko na kwa hiyo ile shift so that shift ikawapelekea kulitaja jina la Yesu it led them to start calling on the name of haleluya amen ile shift that shift eh? ikapelekea kulitaja jina la Bwana it led them to start calling on the name of the lord sasa hapa ujue neno neno linapokuwa linaweka majina au linaweka uh, msisitizo fulani So you need to know when when this word is is making an emphasis on something haitokei tu kwa bahati it doesn't just ha- it's not there by mistake liko linakusuli na shabaha there's a reason and a purpose kwa hiyo ukianza kusoma pale so when you start reading there anasema adam akamjua mke wake wakazam mtoto anaitwa seti he said adam had relationship with his wife again and she gave birth to a son and named him seth na wakazam mwingine anaitwa habili and they gave another uh, uh, birth to another called Abel. Na tunajua kwamba alikuwa na mtoto mwingine mkubwa zaidi anaitwa Kaini. And we know that they had another one whose name was Cain. Kaini alimuua Habili. And Cain killed Abel. Kwa hiyo zilikuwa nyakati mbaya. So it was bad times. Lakini soma mstari wa 26. But when you read verse 26, kita, kizazi cha tatu kutoka Adam. It's the third generation from Adam. Seth naye akazaa mwana. Seth also gave birth. Akaitwa Enosh. His name was Enosh. Enosh maana yake Enosh means jina Enosh maana yake the name of Enosh means is to be weak nikuwa dhaifu to be weak hallelujah amen sijui nani huyu ndani ambaye amepewa jina linaitwa dhaifu i don't know who's been given the name that is weak jina langu ningetambua kwamba wameniita Jesse maana yake ni dhaifu if if, my, if i knew my name Jesse meant weak ningeenda ningelibadilisha i would have gone and changed it bwana yesu asifiwe sana praise the name enosh usimpatie mtoto wako jina enosh don't give your child the name enosh enosh maana yake ni dhaifu enosh means weak dhaifu au ubinadamu moto haleluya amen moto moto yes moto okay. moto wazungu wanasema moto okay moro Yes. Oh, moro. Okay. Whatever it is, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Kwa <laughs> maana yake ni kuwa weak. So the meaning means weak. Maana yake ni kuwa na hali ya ubinadamu. Is to be moral. Na watu wakatambua hivi kwamba tumetegemea wanadamu. 
So they realize that we are dependent on the humans. We have put our, na- our strength in names of people. If today was mentioned in America, or people who knows they live in America, the name America is very big among nations. But for us who were without power this week, and we didn't have water, we reminded that the America is, is still on earth. Hallelujah. Praise the name of God. And it reminded us we need to still singing that we are going to Canaan. The Hallelujah. Amen. That the promised land we have not reached. Even the nation with big names. They are still under the earth. Na kwa hiyo katika kizazi cha Enosh so in the generation of Enosh wakakumbushwa kwamba mwanadamu they were reminded that they were humans kwamba ni dhaifu that it's the human is weak bwana Yesu asifiwe sana praise god la wakati huo sajabu ameitia majina ya miungu maybe at that time they had already called all the other gods wengine mlikotoka huko mmefundishwa kuitia majina ya mizimu maybe other places where you guys come from the wengi wako mlikotoka mnaita majina ya babu zenu waliokufa they called they've told you how to call the, uh, your ancestors na tena ni kwambia hivi kwamba hayo majina hayana nguvu but i would like to tell you that those names do not na hayo majina ni majina ya mapepo and those are the names of demons bwana yesu asifiwe sana praise the name of god hallelujah hallelujah jina la bwana liposi praise the name of god hayo ni majina ya mapepo those are names of demons ukitambua hivi kwamba kuna jina la kipepo limetanda name of demons in your family jina don't allow it likatai katika Reduce jina la Yesu in the name of Jesus sema mimi nitaitwa jina hili katika mungu I'll be called a ni- different name bwana Yesu asifiwe sana amen miaka ming uh, kama sita hivi imepita nilifundisha about six years ago i told kuhusu umuhimu wa jina about the importance of name niliwafundisha kwamba hata wayahudi i told that even the jews walikuwa wanasubiria kwa muda wa siku kama nane. they used to wait at least for eight days ili kuweza kumpatia mtoto jina in order to name their child kwa sababu walikuwa wanasubiria kuangalia because they were waiting to see haiba ya mtoto how the, the character of the child amen walikuwa naangalia kwamba character ya mtoto itakuweje they were looking at how the attitude of the kid now baadaye wanampatia jina and then they will give them a name la jina lilikuwa linampa identity mtoto and that name will give the child identity yani maana yake linampatia utambulisho it give them identity bwana yesu asifiwe sana mnamsikia vizuri amen amen sorry yeah chukua ile ya mwisho ina nguvu zaidi bwana yesu asifiwe sifa yes that is much better Hallelujah. Amen. Jina la Bwana lipewe sifa. Um kwa hiyo nyakati zile hata leo hii mtu akipewa jina jina lile lina identity. So today when somebody is given a name the name has an identity. Amen. Amen. Yaani linakutambulisha wewe ni nani. So it, it identifies who you are. Na pia linakupatia yani kuunganika fulani and it makes you it connects you to something else bwana yesu asifiwe sana praise god majina ya wakuu wa huko uingereza the, the, the leaders of, of europe maduch sijui wanaita duch eh duchess duch duch and jackies duchess eh amen amen hallelujah amen prince the prince majina yao yakitajwa yanajulikana kwamba hili jina liko lina nguvu katika eneo letu. But this name has power in our midst. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise God. Kwa hiyo jina liko lina nguvu. So the name has power. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the name of God. Praise the name of God. Jina liko lina nguvu. The name has power. Amen. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Na kwa sababu hii Wayahudi wamekuwa waangalifu sana katika kutoa majina. The Jews have been careful in giving names. Amen. Amen. You'd have to do this first. Amen. Amen. Wayahudi wako waangalifu katika kutoa majina. The Jews are careful in giving names. Kwa sababu wanajua lile jina la mtu yule. Because they know the name of this. Litamtambulisha. He will go before them. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Na Mungu katika neno lake amejifunua kwa majina yake. Yako mengi. El Shaddai. El Shaddai. Elohim. Elohim. Adonai. Adonai. Jehovah. Jehovah. Elohim. Elohim. Yote hayo ni majina ya Mungu. Na kila jina linatambulisha tabia ya Mungu. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa sana. Kila jina linatambulisha uwezo wake Mungu. Every name reveals the character of God. Amen. Amen. Kwa hiyo Wayahudi walikuwa nasubiria kwa muda. So Jews used to wait for a little bit. 
ili wajue kwamba huyu mtoto tunampatia jina to know that when they give this child a name kulingana na jinsi alivyo depending on how they are bwana yesu asifiwe sana praise god kwa hiyo enoshi so enosh manake ni dhaifu the meaning is weak na watu wakatambua hivi kwamba tumekuwa dhaifu and people realize that they were weak lazima turudi kwa mungu they realize that we need to go lazima back to god lazima turudi kwa yehovah we need to go back to jehovah bwana yesu asifiwe sana praise god ili kuwa na uamsho wa kweli and this was a true revival lazima watu wa mungu walitie jina la mungu it's it, people have to call the name Hallelujah. of God. Hallelujah. Nasema tena ili kuwa na uamsho. This was a revival. Ili kuwa na mshoo, kuwa na uamsho. To have a revival. Lazima watu waliitie jina la Mungu. People have to call on the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise the name Mana of Jesus. Hata watu wa Mungu wamefika mahali hawana uhakika na jina lake Mungu. Because even the people of God they got to a place where they're not sure of the name of God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise God. Jina hili lina nguvu kama ilivyokuwa na nguvu tutea mwanzo. This name has power just as it was in the beginning. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the name of God. Sasa sikiliza jina la Bwana. So listen the name of God. Au Jehovah kwa Kiebrania au Jehovah in, Obu, uh, in Hebrews manake nitasema kwa Kisungu au said in English manake ni I am who I am Hallelujah Amen. Wakati watu wamekazana na kina Enosh, when people are, 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 are going with Enosh, I am who I am, yupo. Siku zote amekaa. I am who I am. Anasubiria watu walitambue jina lake na ukuu wake. He's waiting for people to realize his name and his greatness. Anasubiria wanadamu walitie jina lake. He's waiting for the humans to realize his name. Waone matendo yake makubwa. So they can see his greatness. Ili waone utendaji wake Mungu. So they can see his power. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise the name of God. Kwa hiyo anaposema mimi ni Yeho. So when he say I am Jehovah. Maana kanajitambulisha kwamba mimi niko vile nilivyo. That means he's revealing himself that I am who I am. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise the name of God. Neno la Mungu nasema mwanadamu si Mungu sio mwanadamu hata aweze kusema nini? The Bible says the kusema uongo. The God is not a man that he should lie. Ina maanisha Mungu anavyosema mimi ndio niko hivi niko mkweli. It means that when God say I am that is true. Maana yake ndivyo alivyo ni mkweli. It that means the way he is. Ina maanisha Mungu anavyosema mimi ni wa kutegemewa. Even he say I am dependable. Maana yake mimi ni wa kutegemewa. When I say I am dependable. Anavyosema mimi ni Mungu mwenye nguvu so he when he say I am all powerful. Maana yake ni Mungu mwenye nguvu so he is the he is all powerful. Anaposema silali wala sisinzii. He say I don't sleep. Ina maanisha Mungu hanaga usingizi. He means that God has not Hallelujah. Sleep. Amen. Ni Mungu mwenye uwezo. He is God of power. Wanadamu wakafika mahali. Human got to a place. Kaanza kuliitia jina la Bwana. They started calling on the name of the Lord. Jina ambalo nasema mimi niko mbaya niko. The name that says I am who I am. Jana na leo na hata leo yes, nabakia kwa ile ndio hebu. I still be the same. Anabakia kwa Mungu. He still remains to God. Anishi wala lingalisha. He does not depend on anybody. Hallelujah. Amen. Kwa napenda kuambia hivi God is in his own class. Na anasema kwamba Mungu wako katika eneo yake kipekee. Yaani ukianza kutafuta ma classes ya, ya kuweka vitu. When you see other classes of putting things. Kuna malaika class hii hapa na ile pale na ile. There's a class for angels Lakin here there. Mungu but God anakaa katika class yake peke yake. He's only in his own class. Hakuna huko mkaribisha. There's no one to 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 bring him in. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise God. Hasinzi wala halali. He does not sleep nor slumber. Hachoke. He's not tired. Ni mtakatifu. He is righteous. Jesus alivyokuwa mtakatifu wake kwa wale. He was righteous. Utakatifu wake haujapungua. His righteousness is still the same. Wanadamu ndio wanabatoa kidangaje kidanganya danganya. Men can lie oh, to themselves. Si Mungu wa miaka hii si. Oh, I don't know the God of this time. Ni neema sana. Ah, he is a God of grace. Oh, God of the Old, oh, God of the Old oh, Testament. Ni mkali sana. Oh, God of the Old Testament. Ni Mungu yule yule. He is still the same. Hajapungua at the ounce ya utakatifu he, he has not reduced any of his righteousness anabakia kwa mtakatifu he still remains to be righteous anaposema habadilishi mawazo habadiliki when he say he doesn't change he doesn't change habadiliki he doesn't change he's not a hypocrite yes. sio mnafiki wengine hapa mna, mna watu wanawachekea lakini moyoni mnajua kwamba hawawapendi god is people who laugh at you but you know in their hearts they they, 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 they don't love but god is not like that kuna watu ambao wanakuja wanaongea na wewe vizuri hivi. There people who come and talk to you with good. Nyume yako wanasema mambo mabaya. They say bad things. Wanakuonea wifu. They stay jealous. Hallelujah. Praise God. Lakini Mungu wangu. But my God. Kama anataka urekebishe jambo. If you kama anataka urekebishe jambo. If God wants you to make something right. Anakufesi uso kwa uso. He comes to you straight. Anakuambia mwanangu. And he say my child. Si lipendi. This I do not like. Yache. Leave it. Mimi ni Mungu mtakatifu. I am God who's holy. Praise God. Jehovah. 
Jehova. Mimi niko jinsi nilivyo. I am who I am. Now kwa Musa na to Moses katika ile Exodus 3:13. Uh, Exodus 3:13. Hallelujah. <laughs> Uyu Mungu. Katika kitabu cha kutoka 3:13. Exodus 3:13 paka 15 to 15. In fact paka 14. So 14. Anasema Musa akamwambia Mungu tazama nitakapofika kwa wana wa Israeli na kuambia Mungu wa baba zenu amenituma kwenu. Nao wakaniuliza jina lake ni nani? Niwaambie nini? Mungu akasema mimi niko. Ambaye niko. Akasema ndivyo atakavyowaambia wana wa Israeli mimi niko amenituma kwenu. What a weird kind of statement. Wewe unaweza kutumwa na mtu ambaye anaitwa mimi niko. You may be sent with somebody who say I am. Hallelujah. Kwa sababu Mungu anaongea katika paradigm tofauti. Because God is talking in a different paradigm. Na ndio maana unapoanza kusikia kutoka kwa Mungu. And that's when you start listening to God. Sio wote watakao kuelewa. Be, many people will not understand. Kwa sababu Mungu maneno yake yanapoyatumia. Because when God uses his words. Kuna kuna namna fulani ya kibinadamu hatuelewi. There's a way of human that we do not understand. Anasema mimi niko ambaye niko. He said that I am who I am. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise the name of God. Mimi niko ambaye niko. That I am who I am. Jana niko. Yesterday I am. Leo niko. Today I am. Na kesho utanikuta niko. And tomorrow I am. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Mbele za Mungu. Before God. It is always now. Ni, ni kila saa wakati huu. God doesn't have a future. Mungu hana future. You do. Wewe uko nayo. I do. Mimi niko nayo. He is always in the current present. Yeye ako in the, always in the eternal present so. Yeye ako kwa katika uh, umilele Mele ya sasa of now. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise God. Muda time unatufanya twende kwa mzunguko. It makes us go in circles. Okay? Kuna mahali pa kuanzia. There's a place of beginning na mahali pa kufanya. And the place of kumalizia si ndio ending mtoto anazaliwa the child gets born kisha anafanya nini and then what anakufa si ndio they die god lives in a straight line god lives in a, anaishi katika straight line that is hard to understand yeah yeye ni vigumu kuelewa na wao mstari haukutani and and that start, that line does not meet inaelewa kwa watoto Mungu do you understand hallelujah anasema kwake Musa akajifunua akisema mimi niko ambaye niko sasa he said that he revealed to Moses I am who I am angalia tofauti kidogo na jinsi alivyojifunua kama Yehova look how he, he revealed himself as Jehovah kama Yehova I am who I am si ndio as Jehova I am who I am that is character that hiyo hiyo ni character yake okay all right and then mimi niko ambaye niko I am who I am that is his eternal presence hiyo ni uh, pre- presence yake ya umilele. Amen. Amen. Kwa hiyo kuna character, so there's a character. Okay? Lakini pia kuna uwezo. But there's also a abil- ability. Okay? Tunaelewa na watoto Mungu. Kwa hiyo Mungu halinganishwi na kitu chochote. So God is not compared to anything. Katika tabia yake. By his behavior na katika nguvu zake. And by his power. Na kile anachoweza kufanya. And whatever he's able to do. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Kwa hiyo mimi Niko amenituma. So uh, I am has sent me. In fact ukiendelea kusoma pale chini. So in fact when you continue reading. Hapo nyuma kwa baba zako sikujitambulisha namna hiyo. In the uh, 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 in the past to ancestors I did not reveal myself. Lakini like wafika muda kwa kukomboa wanadamu. But he has Kwa got a of, of 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 saving the Jews. Lazima ajifunue kwa jina lingine. He has to reveal himself to another name. Jina, eh? Do you see the importance of a name? Okay? Anamuita Abraham. He calls him Abraham. A B R A M. A B R A M Anatembea naye kidogo He works with a little bit And he said I'm changing your name kwenda kuwa Abraham to be Abraham father of many nations Baba wa mataifa mengi Any time God wants to do something significant Wakati ambao Mungu anataka kufanya kitu ndani ya mashamba He reveal his name Ni lazima ajidhihirishe jina lake Ama abadilishe jina lako In fact wale mababa wote watatu Those those uh, uh, ancestors in fact katika wale mababa watu wale watatu mapatriarchs those three patriarchs Abraham Abraham Isaac Isaac na Jacob and Jacob wawili walibadilisha majina two of them were changed their names you see how significant it is unaona umuhimu wao hiyo Abraham Abraham kwa Abraham to Abraham Yakobo Jacob kwa nani Israel to be Israel think about it 
Na leo tunawataja kwamba ni Mungu. And today we mentioned that God wa Abrahamu of Abraham na kwa usahihi zaidi ni Mungu wa Israeli sio Jacob. But he, to, the correct word says God of Israel not Jacob. Okay. Tunaelewana. Do you understand? That is the better way to put it. If you are in the book of Bible inasema Mungu wa Yakobo that is fine. I know there's a place where the Bible say the God of Jacob. Amen. Amen. Lakini the best demonstration lakini katika njia sahihi inapokuja katika majina when it comes to names it is god of israel ni mungu wa israeli okay na kisema mungu wa yakobo kuna kitu pale anajaribu ku when he it say god of jacob he, there's something he's trying to say inaeleweka okay. do we understand yakobo ni jacob nini is supplanter si ndio mongo si ndio liar yeah. deceiver israeli israel umeshindana na wanadamu na mungu na umefanya nini umeshinda You have wrestled with man and God and you have conquered you have won. Okay. So that is in introduction. Introduction. So sehemu ya kwanza katika introduction ni kwamba watu walianza kulitia jina la Bwana. The first uh, in introduction the people started calling on the name of God. Na sehemu ya pili Mungu alijifunua kwa Musa kama mimi niko ambaye niko. And the second part is that God revealed himself as i am who i am semia tatu kutolitia jina la bwana ni sawa na upagani to not number three, to not call on the name of god is the same as a uh, pagan au wovu or evil in fact ni nisoma katika biblia kiingereza ikasema wickedness wickedness okay sasa tusome katika zaburi ile ya 14 mstari wa kwanza paka 4 it's written in the book of psalms chapter 1 verse 2 uh, chapter 14 Uh, Zaburi 14 mstari wa kwanza mpaka 4. Psalms 14 verse 1 to 4. Neno Mungu nasema mpumbavu amesema moyoni mwake hakuna Mungu. Kwa hiyo mtu akisema hakuna Mungu hawezi hata kulitia jina la Bwana. Si ndio? Tunaelewana watoto wa Mungu. Niko katika Zaburi 14. I'm still in Psalms 14 mstari wa kwanza mpaka 4. Verse 1 to 4. Anasema wameharibu matendo yao na kuyafanya chukizo. Hakuna atendaye mema. Toka mbinguni Bwana aliwachungulia wanadamu aone kama yuko mtu amwenye akili amtafutaye Mungu wote wamepotea wameoza pamo, wote pamoja hakuna atendaye mema la hata moja je wote wafanyayo maovu hawajui walao watu wangu kama walavyo mikate hawamwiti bwana they do not call on the name of the lord hawamwiti bwana and they do not call upon the lord watu wa ovu hawawezi kumwita mungu wicked people will not call on the name of the lord praise the name Na of god mtu wa mungu and you the person of god miongoni mwa wapagani don't be among pagan uwe miongoni mwa watu wanaolitia jina la bwana be among the people who call on the name of the lord bwana yesu asifiwe sana praise the name of god asikulitia kwa ule gift and not calling by weakness bwana yesu asifiwe jesus maana ninajua wengine mnaone mnaona aibu ya majina yenu because some of you i know you 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 don't like your names okay 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 ukiulizwa wewe unaitwa nani when i ask you what's your name mimi jina langu naitwa fujo i'm called noise fujo fujo noise noise maana unajua kabisa hili jina nikilitaja mbele za watu because when you, you know when you say your name in front of people ukiulizwa hilo jina likoje alikupatia jina hilo the people ask you how did you get such a name bwana yesu asifiwe sana praise god lakini jina la mungu wetu by the name of our god we we are, we 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 boast on it we boast on it hallelujah amen jina la mungu tunalionea fahari we boast in the name of the lord hallelujah amen wengine huwa hamtaki kutajwa kwamba nyinyi wa kristo some people don't like to mention that they're christians kule hautaki kulitaja jina la bwana too late i when you are work you don't want to mention call on the name of the lord hata ukiomba kwa ukiombea chakula kazini haumalizi kwa jina la yesu even when you pray for the food you don't finish in the name of jesus rafiki yangu kama kuna sumu haitaondoka maana sumu zinaondoka kwa jina la yesu if there was poison in there it will not go away because it goes away in the mention of the Hallelujah. name of Jesus. Unaona aibu kulitaja jina la Yesu kwenye chakula kuombea kwa kazini. You are shy to call on the name of Jesus to pray the name of Jesus. Jesus. Mungu. And he says oh we feel in the name gani? of God. Which God? Hivi unajua dunia haina shida na Mungu isipokuwa ina shida na Yesu. Do you know the world has no issue with God but they have problems. Jina lile Mungu unaweza ukalitumia unapotaka. The name of God you can use it as you want. Lakini inapokuja kwa Yesu. But when it comes to Jesus. Yesu anasema mimi ndio njia kweli na uzima. Jesus said that I am the way the truth and life. Msiniweke kwenye level ya Muhammad. Don't put me on the level of Muhammad. Msiniweke kwenye level ya Confucius. Don't put me on the level of Confucius. Au level ya Buddha. 
Oh level of Buddha. Mimi ni Mungu ambaye niko. I am God who I am. Nasema iko siku kwa sauti yangu. And there's a day on my voice. Nitafufua wafu. I will rise the dead. Pamoja na manabii wote waliokufa. And all the prophets who died. Soma katika Yohana 5:20. Read in the book of uh, John 5. Kwa hiyo kutokuliitia jina la Bwana. So to not call on the name of the Lord. Ni sawa na upagani. It's the same as paganism. Unataka watu wajue tu au ah, unasali tu ni mtu mzuri. You want people to just know that you you, you pray you're a good person. Uko na uko uko na uko na tabia njema lakini hautaki watu wajue kwamba unaliitia jina la Mungu. You have a good behavior but no, you don't want people to know that you call on the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise God. Nilipookoka tukiwa wadogo wa shule za msingi na sekondari when i was seven i was in 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 high school basi kuna wakati eh, na wewe mwenyewe uko na maisha yako unayajua mwenyewe there is a time you know your life yourself na unajua tanzania tunapenda tuna kusema sana bwana yesu asifiwe sijui nchi zingine sijui i don't i don't know about other nations but in tanzania we say praise the lord na yeye nalipenda sana and i like that ukimkuta mtu kwenye basi bwana yesu asifiwe when you meet somebody you say uh, uh, praise the name of jesus ukimkuta mtu mtoni kwenye kufua bwana yesu asifiwe when you meet somebody where they are washing clothes say praise the name of jesus mtu sokoni bwana yesu asifiwe when you meet somebody in the market you say praise the name of jesus nyakati zile naona pacific ananielewa vizuri in those days i know pacific understands nyakati zile ukiwa unajua una tembea isifu katika jina la Bwana when you when you know you were not walking the ways of the Lord kama njia zako hazifanani na jina la Bwana you know that your ways do not uh, match the name of the Lord kama naye kuja moto moto kule you see somebody coming from there na uko katikati na ya wafuta bangi wenzio and you're in the midst of people smoking unaona huyu mpendo atanisalimia Bwana Yesu asifiwe you know that this person say Bwana Yesu asifiwe na hili jina siko naishi sawa na jina and this name is powerful Siko naishi sawa na jina hili. I'm not living according to this name. Niko naishi sawa na majina mengine. I'm living according to other names. Unamwona mpendo anakuja kule unajua kile comes. Hatakwambia habari za asubuhi. They will not say good morning. Hatakwambia Bwana Yesu asifiwe. They'll say praise the name of Jesus. Naanza kutafuta milango ya kutokea. You start trying to look for doors to run away. Ungapi anaendelewa? How many people understand? Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the name of God. Lakini ashukuriwe Mungu anayeokoa watu. But praise to the name of Jesus. Ashukuriwe Mungu anayetuita kwa watu mbali. Praise the name of Jesus who says we. Bwana anatutoa mbali kwa jina lake. He has brought us from far for his name. Anatutunza kwa jina lake. He calls us for his name. Yawezekana uko kijana huko ndani unacheza chesa. You may be a young person playing around. Ikifika muda wa kulicheza jina la Bwana. But when it comes to the time of calling on the name of the Lord. Unachukia aibu. You feel shy. Ndugu yangu ni mapepo yanayokuweka katika aibu. Those are demons that are making you shy. Kwa jina hili lina nguvu because this name has the power. Hallelujah. Amen. Jina hili lina nguvu. This name has power. Linahamisha watu katika ulimwengu wa roho. It transfer it it it, it transfers people. Linawafanya watu ambao hawako watoto wa Mungu, kwa watoto wa Mungu. The people who are not God's people to become God's people. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the name of God. Na pia dunia haipendi jina la Bwana. Mungu the world does not like the, they, they don't like the name of God. Na ndio maana nimetoa maandiko nimetoa nimetoa mfano huu. And that's why I gave this example. Katika Marko 13:9 mpaka 13. In Mark chapter 13 verse 9 to 13. Marko injili ya Marko. Mark 13 mstari wa 9. Mark 13 verse 19 paka 13 9 to 13 Anasema nani jihadharini nafsi zenu maana watawapeleka ninyi mabarazani na katika masinagogi mtapigwa Nani mtachukuliwa mbele ya maliwari na wafame kwa jini yangu kwa ushuhuda kwao Verse 10 Na sharti injili ubiriwe kwanza katika kila taifa na watakapowachukua ninyi na kuwasaliti msitafakari kwanza mtakayoyasema lakini lolote mtakalopewa saa ile lisemeni kwa maana si ninyi msemao bali ni roho mtakatifu na ndugu atamsaliti ndugu yake ili awawe na baba atamsaliti mtoto na watoto watashambulia wazazi wao na kuafisha nanyi mtakuwa mkichukiwa na watu wote kwa ajili ya jina langu lakini mwenye kusubiri hata mwisho ndiye atakayeokoka. Haleluya. Amen. Dunia hailipendi jina la Yesu. The world does not like the name of Jesus. Unaweza ukataja majina mengine kama nilivyosema Mungu. You can mention any other name like God. Kwamba sisi wote ni watoto wa Mungu. You said that we are all God's children. Oh sisi wote tutaishia mbinguni na all of us will end up in heaven. Oh Mungu Mungu anapenda watu wote. God loves all the people. Lakini ukianza kuleta injili ya msalaba. Oh, you started bringing the gospel of the cross. Kila muamini ataokolewa. That he will be 
sins shall be saved. And the one who does not save is already judged. And they need to live according to the works of God. When you start to live according to that name, huh? people do not like that. Because the light that you live, it burns them those who are in darkness. Praise the name of God. I used to have a testimony of this. When I was in school, every person that used to live according to that name, people used to be afraid of them. They say that you could play with somebody else. You could sleep with somebody. This but that sister loves Jesus. They don't just call on the name of Jesus. They call the name of Jesus and believe it. Because, because the Bible said that he who lives calls on the name of the Lord shall be evil. He who calls on the name of the Lord needs to live evil. Hallelujah. Amen. And some of you guys put your boyfriend's name everywhere. On your Facebook, it is my 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 sweet potatoes. You sweet On your Facebook is your sweet potatoes. On your WhatsApp, it is my munchkin. It's new. On your WhatsApp. My oxygen. Apple sauce. Number one, this is I want you to listen to me. And that guy dumps you. And now you mtana ana ana achieve 15 years later miaka 15 baadaye yeye ana nyumba yake ameoa mtu mwingine na umo leo na mtu mwingine tofauti He has his own house with uh, with his wife and you have uh, your own house with your husband na mtu mwingine mna watoto wanne na yeye ameoa mtu mwingine na watoto sita He has six kids and you have four kids Lakini Mungu ndiye mwacha But the God you you left hajabadilika has not changed Amebakia kwa yule yule He still the same do we understand? Yeah. The God you left. Because of certain relationships. Because of money. Because of some issues you're going through. He continues to be the same God. He said they will persecute you. Because of the name. It means that people do not like the name of Jesus. Even in, in your midst in the homes you come from. You start singing. You start singing. If there's something with demon in your house. They'll start to leave. They say oh, I'm going to do laundry. Because they can't sit close to that name. Kini unaimba sijui nyimbo za mapenzi sijui Sijui nyimbo za nini Bro you start singing love songs and all this Kumbe unaishi ndani na mchawi hujui And you're living with a witch you don't know Na yule mchawi anasema yeye endelea kuizi mba hizi hizi nyimbo hizi And they say continue singing these songs Nyimbo za fire usilete huko ndani Don't bring don't bring the fire song just sing those songs Tunaona watoto Mungu Amen Now Let's look at the benefit of calling on the name of the Lord. The first, the name of the Lord saves. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The name of Jesus saves. That name saved me. Bila Yesu Without Jesus, I wouldn't be the way I am. I would have been a really bad person. I would have been lost. But I thank for the name of the Lord. For meeting me where I was. And changing me. Even making me a servant of the Lord. Praise the name of God. Maybe some of you go, are going through hard things in life. If it wasn't Jesus. That marriage would have been the same as living in hell. Praise God. So thank God. Thank in the name of the Lord. That saves. I want you to write down uh, the book of Acts chapter 4 verse 11. Acts chapter, Acts chapter 2 verse 21. Romans chapter 10 verse 
11 to 13. Let me read the book of Acts chapter 4 verse 11. In fact, verse 12, sorry. Verse 12. Yeah. So, anasema, wala hakuna wakovu katika mungine. Awa yoyote, komana hapana jina jingine chini ya mbingu. Walilopewa wa wanadamu, litupasalo sisi kukolewa kwa alu. Hapana wakovu. There is no salvation. Katika jina lingine lolote. In no one else. Walilopewa wanadamu chini ya jua. For there is other name under the heaven. Liwapasalo kukolewa. That has been given to men by which we must be saved. Ndukuzangu hata wakikubadilisha jina la mwisho wakakuita Trump. Even though if they, they change your last name to Trump. Kama haujia okoka haujia okoka. If you are not saved you are not saved. Kama ni jehana munaenda tu. If it is hell you are going. Bwana yesa sifuwe sana. Praise God. Hakuna jina ulilopewa wanadamu chini ya jua. There is no a name that has been given under the sun. Ambalo linaweza kukoa. That can save. Na kwa sababu hiyo usio na usio na hofu. And because of that don't be, don't be afraid. Don't be a shy. That just know that be, 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 be in between these eyes. People may not see. But open and see that name. The way it's being represented in the spiritual realm. The way it has the power. Praise God. Kuna wakati wanasema tukijitaja hilo jina wanaona moto. There's time they say when they say that name they see fire. Nafikiri ni mchezo. You think it's a joke. Kwa hiyo jina la Bwana linaokoa. So the name of Jesus saves. Amen. Amen. Katika uh, atari nimeshawapatia maandiko inatosha. Namba 2. Number 2. Jina la Bwana the name of the Lord linaponya. He heals. Matendo tatu. Acts 3 verse 13 mkamua yule mkuu wa uzima ambaye Mungu amemfufua katika wafu na sisi tu mashahidi wake na kwa imani katika jina lake jina lake limemtia mtu huyu limemtia nguvu mtu huyu mnayemuona na kumjua na imani ile ile iliyo katika yeye imempatia huyu uzima huu mkamilifu mbele yenu ninyi nyote. Kitu gani kinaendelea? Ngoja niwaeleze. What is con- what is happening? Let me tell you. Katika kitabu hiki cha Matendo ya Mitume sura ya 3. In the book of chapter uh, Acts chapter 3. Petro na Yohana. Pe- uh, Peter and John. Wame wame wakiwa wamejaro mtakatifu. When they were filled with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Pentecost ishakuja. The Pentecost has already come. Yesu alikusha kwenda juu. Jesus has already ascended. Roho mtakatifu amewashukia. The spirit of God has come upon Matendo them. Matendo makubwa yameanza kufanyika. Big works are happening. Na wana, wanaingia ekaluni. And they go in the temple. Muda wa kusali saa 9. It was the, the, the at 3 p.m. Wanamkuta mtu kiwete amekaa. They, they meet somebody who is a, a, a lame. Na yule kiwete hatagarajii kingine chochote cha ajabu isipokuwa kupewa pesa. And this lame person wants to be given money. Akikusha kuchoka kuhusu kuinuliwa kutoka katika they are tired of being lifted up because of the crippleness. Where is the name of God? The Bible said that Peter he, he said he looked to, at, at the person. And he says money and gold we don't have. But in the name of Jesus stand up and walk. Where is the name of God? In the name of Jesus, stand up and walk. The Bible said that the, the lame he got up and started walking. And people started being surprised. They asked, "Is it this the son of God?" Do we know this person that they sit down there? Their, their work is just big because they don't have anything else. Look but today, what has happened? Today, what had happened? The name of Jesus has lifted up a cripple. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. That is why when we pray for the sick, when we cast our demons, we don't come in pride and to show ourselves. That 
and we know how, what the, what to do maana tunajua kitu gani kinachotenda kazi because we know what works kinachotenda kazi what works sio sisi it's not us kinachotenda kazi what works ni mungu kapitia jina lake god through the name his name bwana yesu asifiwe sana praise god jina hilo limekuwa kama ufunguo the not name has become like a key haleluya amen anasema lolote mtakalofunga mbinguni he said that whatever you close in heaven litakuwa imefungwa chini it will also be closed on earth mtakalofungua mbinguni now whatever you open in the heaven litakuwa limefunguliwa hapa chini open here tunafunguaje how do we open tunafungua kwa jina la yesu we open through the name of jesus haleluya praise the name of god tunafungua kwa jina la yesu we open through the name of jesus hatukai tukifikiria fikiria na kutafakari tufanye kitu gani we don't sit and start thinking what we do tunatanguliza jina la Yesu we, we call in the name of Jesus Bwana Yesu apesifa haleluya na kwa hiyo walipokuwa wamefanya muujiza huu so when they were doing this miracle wakafungwa they were bound wamefanya kitu kizuri they did something good lakini dunia isipotaka mambo ya Yesu mambo mema but when the earth does not want the things of god wakafungwa they were they were chained bwana yesu asifiwe sana praise god na ndipo petro anaanza kujielezea and that's when peter started talking kwamba sisi sio tuliyofanya hivi he said we are not the one who is aliyofanya hivi ni yesu the one who did this is jesus bwana yesu asifiwe sana praise god anayekoa ni yesu the one who saves is jesus anayeponya ni yesu the one who heals is jesus anayekomboa ni yesu the one who saves is jesus bwana yesu Praise the name of God. Kila mahali Yesu alitembea. Everywhere Jesus went. Nguvu za giza zilimtambua kwa All the power of darkness they would recognize. Hata pale ambapo watu wengine hakumtambua. Even where other people did not know. Biblia inasema mapepo yakalia. The Bible say demons started yeah, crying out. Kisema tunani tuna nini na wewe? Say, what do we have with you? Jeu mkuja kutuangamiza kama wewe. Have you come to destroy us before judgment day? Maana yenyewe yalitambua. Because they realized. Ya kwamba Mungu ameshika God has come down in the midst of the humans haleluya praise god mungu ameshuka god has come down katika mwili in in flesh bwana yesu asifiwe praise god kwa jina la yesu so the name of jesus ina faida yako kwa it has it has a uh, 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 it saves lakini pia jina la yesu linaponywa but also the name of jesus heals na linakomboa and it saves linakomboa it saves delivers delivers amen amen Number 3. Number 3. Utajiri. Wealth. Jina la Yesu linatajirisha. The name of Jesus uh, makes you wealth. Wealthy. Warumi 10. Romans, Romans chapter 10 verse 12. Anasema kwa maana hakuna tofauti ya Myahudi na Myunani, maana yeye yule ni bwana wa wote, mwenye utajiri kwa wote wa mtao. Mwenye utajiri kwa nini? Kwa wote wa mwitao. For all that calls on his name. Haleluya. Amen. Anapozungumza utajiri hapa, when he's talking about uh, riches, ni mambo ya rohoni na ya mwilini. It's the things of the spirit and the flesh. Haleluya. Amen. Uko na uhitaji wa kimwili. You have a need of in the flesh. Itia jina la Yesu. Call on the name of Jesus. Na Mungu and God atafanya kitu. He will do something. Uko na hitaji katika roho. You have a need in the spirit. Litie jina la Yesu. Call on the name of God. Ataonekana. He will show, he reveal himself. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise God. Utaitia majina ya mengine yote. You call other names. Hautapata kitu. You will not get anything. Hallelujah. Amen. Namba 4. Number 4. Jina la Yesu lina fahari lina nguvu katikati ya miungu. The name of God has power in the midst of idols na mataifa and nations. Mambo mawili lina nguvu It has power katikati ya miungu in the midst of idols na mataifa and nations tusome katika zaburi ya 20 let's read in the book of psalms 20 sura eh, 20 mstari wa 7 psalms 20 verse 7 na pia tutasoma mika 4:5 and we also going to read mika 4:5 zaburi ya 20 psalms 20 na ule mstari wa 7 Anasema hawa wanataja magari na hawa farasi. Bali sisi tutalitaja jina la Bwana Mungu wetu. Haleluya. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise the name of God. Watu wanapoanza kujifuna kwa ma, kwa, kwa vitu walivyo nacho. When people start boasting in the things they have. Watu wanapoanza kujivuna miongoni mwa wanadamu kwa mafanikio yao. Boasting in the midst of the people 
wewe unawezekana ukisionekane kwamba una kitu cha kuonekana. It must seem as if you don't have anything to show. Lakini kitu ambacho ni cha kuonekana kuliko vyote. But the thing that is can be shown than anything else. Siri iliyopo katika jina la Mungu. It's the secret that is in the name of God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise God. Ukienda katika vikao, when you go into meetings, na watu wakawa wanajiitia mambo mengine mengine mbalimbali. People calling on other things. Oh, unajua mimi ndio Oh, you know me. Ndio ndio nani mjukuu um, wa chifu. I am the grandson of the chief. Kule Kongo over there in Congo wetu ni wakichifu uh, my generation is sisi ni watu wa muhimu sana we are very important people e, hamjawahi kutusikia you never heard of us kweli hamjawahi kutuona yeah you might not have seen us hamrifam jina hili do you not know this name watu wana wana, wana kila namna ya kujitambulisha many people have a way of identifying themselves so. praise the name of Jesus kwa sababu kuna wengine wao wanapata kazi kupitia majina fulani people who even gain jobs because of the name e, mtu anakuambia uh, hii business card yangu they say this is my business card nenda pale ukihitaji jina langu tu wananijua when you go over there and just mention my name they will Bwana Yesu amen hallelujah now the problem is kwamba shida ni kwamba shida ni kwamba huyo mtu sio mimi ambaye niko the problem is that person is not i am okay nakupa mfano i'm giving you an example you've been given a card kwamba nenda kajitambulishe kwa mtu fulani the go and introduce yourself to somebody and tell me somebody has sent me mimi ni mkubwa wa eneo hili i'm i'm a, a big person in this area alafu hauendi kwa miezi miwili and you don't go for two months mwezi wa tatu unaenda the third month we go unatoa ile kadi you give that card wanakuambia ah sorry huyu mtu alikuwa anafanya kazi hapa lakini sasa hivi hafanyi they say oh this person used to work here they don't work here no more Unaona tofauti kati ya Mungu ambaye niko? Do you see the difference between about God I am? Umeona eh? Jina ambalo lilikuwa lina nguvu wiki iliyopita. The name that had power a week ago. Leo hii ame staff. Today I am they're not there. Jina hilo halina nguvu tena. That name has no power anymore. Kuna rais fulani kabla hajaondoka. There's a president before he left. Aliwa aliwasamea sana watu. He forgave a lot of people. Si ndio eh? Kwa sababu inajulikana kwamba akiondoka because he knew that when he leaves kama kuna vitu haujaviweka hauja sawa if the things that you've not done right hauwezi karudi hata dakika moja baada ya kuannounce wewe sio president hauwezi karudi na kusema hivi ah ngoja nimalizie hili you can't come back and say oh i need to to change this tunaelewana watoto wangu we understand amen amen lakini yesu akikutetea but when jesus speaks on your behalf haijalishi kama unajulikana au unajulikana if you know or not known kwa sababu wasiojulikana na wanaojulikana because those who are known and not known wako chini ya jina hilo they still all under that name bwana yesu asifiwe sana praise the name of god wanaojulikana na wasiojulikana those who are known and those who are not tetemeka kwa jina la Yesu. Oh, Strimbo at that day. Unakuta mtu anaanza kukuhangaikia. You are seeing somebody coming. Moyo unamwenda mbio kukushughulikia. Their heart makes Kwamba sijui kwa nini nishughulike na huyu mtu. I don't know what but I need to serve. Sifamu simjui. I don't know them but sura yake haionekani kwa ajabu. Sura yake haionekani kwa ajabu. Their face doesn't look that important. Wala haonekani kwa na umri wa labda mtu mzima mtu mzee kwa kumheshimu. They don't look like all the person that I should Lakini be. Lakini nasikia moyoni mwangu. But I feel kwa huyu kuyo mtu hawezi kuondoka leo that this person cannot live today until i meet their need tunalewa na watoto mbovu do you understand tunalewa na watoto mbovu do you understand jina la mungu linajulikana katikati ya miungu the name of god is known among the idols na katikati ya mafahari mataifa sorry and also among nation bwana yesu asifiwe sana amen yeah unaweza kufika mahali You might get somewhere. Unajiunga na chuo. You as uh, you I'd register for a class. Na kila mle, kila mtu mle ndani anajulikana. And that class everybody's known. Na wewe resume yako haina nguvu. And your resume nobody knows. Lakin It doesn't have power. Ni mungu. But the one who put you there is God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise God. Endelea kuliitia jina la Mungu. Continue to call on the name of Jesus. Kitaeleweka tu. It will be understood. Watakujua tu unatoka wapi. You will know where you come from. Kwa sababu jina lipitalo majina yote. Because the name above all other names. Litakutambulisha. It will go before you. Litakutambulisha. It will go before you. Litakuweka katika ramani ya It will put you Wana somewhere. Yesu Amen. Usingangane kupolish polish majina. Nakumbuka tukiwa kwa sekondari tukawa tu hatutumii tena majina yetu ya mwisho. I remember when I was in high school we didn't use our last names. So mimi baada ya kujiita Jesse Kiwovele instead of me calling myself Jesse Kiwovele I call Jesse Justin. I call myself Jesse Justin. Kumbe kule sehemu ya kulipa school fees. When it comes time to pay school fees wametengeneza watu wawili. They have met two people. 
Kuna mmoja ambaye hajalipa school fees siku nyingi. This one who has not paid school fees for a long time. Anaitwa Jesse Kiovele. His name is Jesse Kiovele. Na yule ambaye ameanza kulipa school fees hivi karibuni. And the person who's paid for school fees now. Anaitwa Jesse Justin. His name is Jesse Justin. Kumbe ni mtu mmoja. But it's one person. Na karibia kumaliza shule. Before finishing school. Utakuta nadaiwa Ada mpaka akamuita baba. They, they, they say I, I, I owe a lot of money to have some father. Kama huyu mtoto hawezi kumaliza shule kwa sababu anadaiwa pesa nyingi. They say this child can not finish school because he owes a lot of money. Kuangalia vitabu, when they looked at the books, sidaiwi pesa. I'm not I'm not being kwa tu katika ujana ujana na kujifanya watungu wazungu. Uh, it's just because I was young and I was trying to pretend. Kwa maana majina mengine magumu magumu. Uh, that, uh, these other big names. Ngoja tujiite majina ambayo kila mtu ataweza kusema. Let's say the name that everybody can mention. Kama jiite ile ile jina gumu gumu. Jiko call yourself the hard name. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise God. Ile ile jina usiloweza kulitamka wazungu. That name that the Americans cannot mention. Wanaona hata shida kukupatia kazi maana ni gumu sana. They're having a hard time to give you a job because they want to make money to 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 When they want not want to give your name, kuna sauti inawaambia huyu lazima apate kazi leo. When they don't want to give you a job, they say lazima ingie hapa leo. There's a voice that said that this person has to get a job. Mkishindwa kuita jina lake muiteni tu Chris. Call on the name of Jesus. Chris. Mkishindwa kuita jina lake muiteni tu Chris. If you feel if you felt call the name of his name call Chris. Au mkishindwa kuita jina lake muiteni tu Joyce. If you fail to call his name call him Joyce. Inaeleweka watoto Mungu. Do you understand? Yeah, tusibabaike. Don't be afraid. Oh hapa wanijui. Oh here they don't know me. Ndio hawakujui. Yes they don't know you. Lakini watakujua. But they will know you. Amen. Mungu naitumikia. The God you serve. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise God. Mika. Mika 4 5. 4 kwa maana mataifa yote watakwenda kila mmoja kwa jina la Mungu wake. Na sisi tutakwenda kwa jina la Bwana, Mungu wetu milele na milele. Sisi tutakwenda kwa jina la Bwana. We will go with the name of the Lord. Napenda jina Kingdom Life. I like the name Kingdom Life. Lakini ndani yake kama hakuna jina la Bwana. But inside if there's not the name of the Lord. Yaani hilo jina halina maana. That name has no meaning. Iko siku tunaweza tukabadilisha jina la kanisa. There's a time we might change the name of the church. Na wengine mtapigana na sisi. And maybe some of them will you will fight with us. Oh, kwa nini nabadilisha jina hili ndio tunaweza kusema the name we, we used to this name. Ah, tumeanza kupoteza mwelekeo. Well, we are losing our vision. Ah, tumeanza kuwa na 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 na, 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 na maono sio tena. We start having false visions. Ndugu zangu My fellow. Tunaweza tukabadilisha majina we kama Mungu hayupo huko ndani. We might but change names if God is not in this place. Hayupo. He's not. Tunaelewana? Do we understand? Mataifa ya hivi hapa ninavyosema miungu ni mapepo. When he says uh, idols these are demons. Waafrika wenzangu naomba muelewe vizuri. My Africans I want to understand. When the Bible says idols. Sio kitu fulani kazuri kazuri kako katikati ya Mungu na mashetani. It's not something that is good that is between no, God no, 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 and no. evil. Yaani ni mapepo 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 kwa mashetani. Those are demons. Tunaelewana? Do you understand? Isipokuwa eneo moja ambapo Biblia inasema ninyi ni miungu imeweka ile katika category tofauti. Kuna 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 andiko hilo. Okay? Lakini maeneo mengine yote ninapozungumza miungu kulingana na mataifa. Many areas where it talks about idols and nations. Inamaanisha mapepo. It's talking about demons. Kwa hiyo kwenye vikao vya familia kule wanasema wao ngoja tumuite babu yako. Oh in the meetings in the family meeting. Gani, let's, call him, let's call on your uh, uh, grandpa who died long time ago. They used to love you. Oh unajua alikuwa anakuwekaga hapa kwenye ma, ma, magoti yake. Oh, he used to put you on his alikuwa knees. Alikuwa anakupenda sana. He used to love you. Oh ngoja tumkumbuke sijui tufanye vitu gani. Let's remember him. Hizo ni ibada za wafu. Those are uh, services of the dead. Na hizo ibada ni ibada za mashetani. Those are demonic services. Wakianza hivyo excuse yourself and go out. When they start that uji, uji, excuse na utoke. Usiseme oh inabidi kumheshimu babu. Oh, don't say oh we need to respect our Oh sijui atageuka kaburini sijui oh, kama will, nisipofanya hivyo. Oh he will turn in the grave if I don't do this. Atageuka na mshakushakuwa mfupa. How can he turn when he's already a bone? Tunalitia jina la Bwana namna gani? Na How do we call on the name of the Lord? Number 1. Number 1. Tunalipitia katika maombi. We call on it through prayers. Okay, na kufundisha namna kulitia jina la Bwana. I'm teaching you on how to call on the name of the Lord. Wafalme wa kwanza. 1 Kings 18:24. Tunalitia katika maombi. 
We call on it through prayers. Ukienda kwenye maombi ambayo haihitaji jina la Yesu. When you go through when you go to prayers that does not call on the name of Jesus. Ondoka kwenye maombi hayo. Leave those prayers. Tunaelewa na watoto mungu. Do we understand? Umekaa dakika 10:15 hakuna jina la Yesu linatajwa. You've sat there for 10:15 minutes no name of Jesus is mentioned. Inatajwa vitu vya ajabu ajabu. Other things are being mentioned. Yaani ondoka kabisa nenda Just leave. Nenda nenda McDonald kale. Go McDonald's and eat. Kwa sababu wewe umeitwa kwa jina takatifu. Because you've been called through a righteous name. The name that has power. Kama una neno kwa lugha kama hapa tunavoneno. Even if they speak in tongues the way we do. Wewe tu si katika kunena kwa lugha. Our power is not through power speaking in tongues. Ni katika jina la Yesu. It's in the name of Jesus. Tunaelewa na watoto wangu. Do we understand? Haimaanishi kwamba kunena kwa lugha ni kitu cha cha wepesi. It doesn't mean that uh, speaking tongues is something lightly lakini inapokuja kwa swala la jina but when it comes to uh, the area of name tunaitwa kwa jina la Mungu we are called by the name of Jesus so wafalme wa kwanza 18:24 Eliya anasema hivi nanyi ombeni kwa jina la Mungu wenu nami nitaomba kwa jina la Bwana nasikia nitaomba kwa jina la Bwana na Mungu yule ajibue kwa moto na awe ndiye Mungu. Haleluya. Amen. Elia is in the midst of a challenge. Elia ana ako katika challenge. Ya ma prophet wa uongo 400 of 400 false prophets. Wanakwenda kutoa dhabihu. They are going to give an offering. Hawa ni ni, ni ma prophet wa Mungu anaitwa Baal. These are prophets of a god named Baal. Na Israeli imepoteza mwelekeo mbele za Mungu. And Israel has lost their vision. Lakini Mungu anakwenda kumtumia Elia. But God is going to use Elijah. Kuleta uamsho. To bring revival. Kama Mungu anaweza kutumia mtu mmoja kwa katikati ya watu 400. If God can use one person among 400. Je, atashindwa kututumia sisi? How can he fail to use all of us? Mtu mmoja katikati ya watu 400. One person in the midst of 400. Na tunajua maandiko yanavyosema. And we see how the word says. Walitoka tokea asubuhi mpaka jioni. They call from the morning to the evening. Elia yupo tu? Elijah was standing. Na hiyo miungu haikuweza kujibu. And those idols could not respond. kwa nini haikuweza kujibu. And I'll tell you why they were not able to. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Kwa sababu tunajua mapepo na mashetani na wachawi wanaweza kufake miujiza. Because we know that witches they can fake uh, uh, miracles. Right, si ndio? Lakini unakumbuka uh, uh, Musa alipokuwa mbele ya Farao. But you remember when Fer, uh, Moses was in front of Pharaoh. Walipoangusha ile fimbo iliyotoka kwa Mungu. When they put the stick down the cake from God. Kwa nyoka, si it turned into a snake. Wachawi wa Farao walifanya kile kile, si ndio? The of Pharaoh also did the same thing. La, lakini ni kitu gani kilichotokea? But what happened? Biblia inasema kwamba nyoka yule wa Musa akameza. The Bible said the snake of Moses swallowed. Akameza. Swallowed. Akameza ile nyoka wa Farao. Swallowed follow the snake of pharaoh bwana yesu asifiwe president of god we understand kwa sababu elia amekaa katikati ya utukufu wa mungu because elijah has had a hard time to function even the the the, 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 the nothing can they can function Mahali ambapo jina la Mungu linatajwa kikweli kweli. The place where the name of god is being called network is agiza zinakatika. All the network of evil they start to break. So nasikia ga AT&T hakuna network. Do you have you heard that AT&T does not have a network? The chara does not have a network. Chawi na wenyewe wana network zao. The demonic principalities they have their own. Mungu wa Yesu kiingia. But when the power of God comes. Somehow hawawasiliani. They can't communicate anymore. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise God. Kwa namna fulani wanakuta hawawasiliani. In a certain way they can't understand each other. Nasikia shuhuda wachawi wamejaribu kufuka eneo fulani la walokole wameshindwa usikuta about testimony there was a there was which is the one to go some other place inapokucha asubuhi but they could when he came in the morning wana wanaulizana ilikuwa they sleep they say what happened mbona tulishindwa kufuka kwenda ngambo ya pili we were not able to cross over ah wanaambia bwana ah tulishindwa kufuka bwana hapo katikati hapo wachawi walokole sorry walokole walikuwa wanafanya maombi hapo katikati we couldn't cross over because there were believers who are praying walikuwa wanalitia jina la bwana they were calling on the name of the lord Tunaelewana. Do we understand? Kwa hiyo ingawa Elia yuko pale hajaanza hata kuomba. Even though Elijah was Elijah was there and hasn't even started praying. Kwa uwepo tu wa Elia. Just in his presence. Bali hawezi kufunction. Baal cannot function. Na haijalishi wako wangapi. It doesn't matter how many they are. Kwa hiyo tunaliita katika maombi. So we call through prayer. Yeremia 33:1-3. Jeremiah 33:1-3. Anasema hivi. It says 
Niite nami nitakuitikia. Call me and I'll uh, respond. Nitawaonyesha. I will show you. Nitakuonyesha nini? I'll show you what? Mambo great makubwa things na magumu and hard usiyajua. That you do not know. Mwambie jirani yako haujaonyeshwa mambo makubwa bado. Tell your neighbor you have not been shown greater things yet. Bado. Not yet. Bado haujaonyeshwa mambo magumu. Not yet. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise God. Anasema niite he said, call me. Nami and I'll respond. Nami and I'll show you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. There is a process. Kuna process. Hakuna kuita. There's no calling. Hakuna kuitikiwa. There's no accepting. Hakuna kuonyeshwa. There's no revelation. Unabakia tu na jina lako. You remain with your name. Number 2. Number 2. Tunaliitia jina la Bwana katika kusifu na kuabudu. We call on the name of the Lord by praise and worship. Zaburi 145. Psalms uh, for, uh, 145 1 to 2. Mstari wa kwanza mpaka wa pili hatutasoma kwa sababu ya mwisho. Tunaliitia jina la Bwana katika kusifu na kuabudu. We call on the name of God through praise and worship. Katika Zaburi hiyo utajisomea. This in this Psalms will you read for yourself? Lakini Zaburi nyingine ambayo nataka ni, ni quote sasa hivi. But another Psalms I want to quote. Zaburi 22 mstari wa 3. Psalms 23 22. 22 mstari wa 3. Verse 3. Anasema yeye ni Mungu aketie katika sifa za Israeli. He say he is a God that sits in the praises of Israel. Mungu anakaa katika sifa. God sits in praise. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise God. Tunapoanza kusifu, when we start praising, Mungu anashuka kwa uwepo wake. God comes in his presence. Tunapoanza kuliitia jina lake. When we start calling on the name of God. Tukuza. To praise him. Mungu anashuka. God comes down. Na mahali ambapo Mungu anashuka. In the place where God comes. It doesn't remain that way. Amen. Amen. Number 3. Number 3. Tunaliita katika kutangaza. We call it through uh, declaring. Okay? Tunaliita katika kutangaza. We call it through declaring. Kutangaza tunatangaza sifa sifa za Mungu. We declare the praises of the Lord. Kwa Mungu. The greatness of God. Hallelujah. Proclaim. Najua watu wengine mnataja masultani, mnataja uh, watu wakubwa huko Dubai. Uh, I know some of you guys mentioned these big people in Dubai. Eh, mnataja watu matajiri. You mentioned really rich people. Yeah, mkikaa pamoja mnajua kabisa uh, uh, Bill Gates ana pesa kiasi gani. When you sit you know the Bill Gates has how many? Unajua kwamba uh, mwaka jana mwaka juzi uh, uh, hakuwa 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 na uh, namba moja duniani. You will know what happened in his financial areas. Yeah, unajua hivi kwamba fulani ndo alikuwa anaongoza kwa pesa. You know this person was leading with money. Eh, unajua kabisa Jeff Bezos sisi juu kina Mark Zuckerberg wote mnajua ana pesa kiasi gani. You know all these people and how much money they have. Lakini jina la Mungu wako hulijui. But you don't know the name of your God. Na hao watu nawataja hawakujui. And those and they, people you're mentioning they don't know you. And they don't care about knowing you. And they don't care about knowing you. As other people, the way they mention their name, we, ta- we call on the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. And we, we call it, we, we call on it boastfully. Hallelujah. Proudly. Amen. Amen. Have you noticed people who come from families that are known? Mimi ndio fulani. I am so and so. Hata nakusalimia ni kwa sheki moja. Even when they, they they say hi they shake you your hand different. Anajua tu ukisikiliza je jina la pili lile. Oh ah, madam. Because they know when you hear this the name you you go down. Sasa wewe usifanye hivi kwa jina lako maana jina lako halina maana. But you you can't do that on your name because your name doesn't have meaning. Lakini unaweza kufika mahali ukasema But you get to a place. Mimi ni innocent mwana wa Mungu aliye hai. I'm uh, I'm innocent. I'm a child of the high God, the God most high. Mimi ni innocent. I'm innocent. Mtoto wa mimi ni alie eh, nini? Mimi niko ambaye niko. Mimi ni mimi ni mtoto wa I am who I am. Amefika. Has arrived. Tunaelewana? Unajisifu katika jina la Mungu. You praise you, you you praise yourself in the name of the Lord. Tunamalizia ya mwisho. The fourth point. Tunaliita kwa kuonyesha matendo ya haki we call on it to show uh, righteous acts okay unapoliita jina la mungu when you call on the name of the lord kama nilivyosema jina la mungu lina sifa yake as i say the name of god has its own praise upendo uh, love si ndio eh right haki righteousness kweli truth uvumilivu hizo yeah, ndio character za mungu si ndio those are the characters of god hallelujah amen Kwa hiyo unapolitia jina hilo. So when you call on that name, uite huko ukionyesha yale mambo. Call and as you're showing these things. Okay? 
Kuna watu wengine mko wazuri sana kumsifu Mungu. The people who are good at call and at praising God. Lakini katika kudhihirisha tabia ya Mungu. But to reveal and show his you're not, uh, acts. You're not good. You're not good. Tunaelewana? Do you understand? Na ile inafanya jina la Mungu litukanwe. And that makes the name of God to be uh, uh, profaned. Tunaelewana? Amen. Okay. Umetoka hapa kusifu, umesifu, umesifu, umesifu. You left this place praising, praising. Lakini unatoka hapo nje. But when you go out there, eh? Unatoka hapo nje. You go out there na unachotakiwa kufanya ni ku maybe kumsaidia mtu fulani. And what you're supposed to do is to help somebody. Mtu yuko na shida. Somebody has problem. Unapita kama uone. You pass as if you don't see. Unapita kama vile hujasikia kabisa. You pass as if you didn't hear. Tunaelewana watoto wangu. Do you understand? So watu wanakaa pembeni wanasema. So people will sit and say So this is the person that goes to the church. This is the person that is calling the name of the Lord. Is it this the person that was calling on the name of the Lord in the church? Anapita hapa anatutukana. And they pass here the same bad words. Hatuheshimu. Does not respect us. Inaeleweke? Do we understand? Okay. Lakini pia jina hili but this name tunaliita kupata haki. We justice. call it to get righteousness, to justice. get ha- justice. Okay? Dunia tunayoishi ni dunia isiyo na haki. The world we live in there's no justice. Okay? Tunaweza tukaenda hata kwa watu. We might even go to people. Uh, Abed naomba uzime ile keyboard. I think it's the one that is making noise or something. Ile ya chini. Okay? So hata watu wenye majina yao even people with their with their names tunaweza tukaenda kwao kupata haki we can go to them to get uh, right uh, justice wanaweza kawa ni mahakimu they might not, they might be uh, judges wanaweza kawa ni watu wa muhimu they might be important people lakini wasifutufanyie vile tunavyotaka but they might not do what we want issues za injustice hata hapa marekani mwaka jana zilikuwa kubwa sana the problem of injustice in america they were great okay issues za racism even racism duniani kote in the world ni shida it was a problem ndugu zangu my fellow kitu cha kwanza the first thing ni kusimamia haki is to stand on justice nasema tena kitu cha kwanza the first thing ni kusimamia haki stand with justice kila unaposoma katika neno la Mungu whenever you read in the word of god mungu anasema myunani na mataifa wote ni sawa the bible said the jews and the gentiles are one myunani na myahudi wote ni sawa the jew and the gentiles are one praise sana. god mungu wetu ni mungu wa haki god is our god of justice simaona pana anasema hivi kwamba myunani na myahudi wote wanaweza kumwitia wapate ujasiri says that the, those jews and gentiles they can call on his name katika warumi tumesoma in the book of romans mungu ndivyo alivyo that's how god is watu wanaweza kukuangalia people could might look at you wakaona kwa kuna vitu haustahili they see things they say you, you don't deserve them wakaona kwamba haustahili heshima they say that they, they might think you don't deserve respect labda haustahili upendo wao you don't deserve their uh, love wengine hata wanakuangalia na wanaona you don't deserve to date me even some people they don't think you deserve to date them that is okay that's okay bwana yesu asifiwe sana praise god amen, amen. lakini inapokuja kwa swala la haki but when it comes to the things of righteousness mungu wetu ni mungu wa haki god is a god of righteousness mungu hapendi ubagusi god does not like uh uh, uh discrimination amen amen hallelujah amen imambo ya kugibagwana bagwana kwa rangi this discrimination thing hana hiyo kitu god does not love the like it and he hates it na mimi kama mchungaji nasema tena and me as a pastor say this hakuna kubagwana kwa makabila there's no uh, discriminating according to tribes bwana yesu asifiwe sana amen tunaweza tukawa hatuna issues za ubaguzi wa kirangi we may not have issues of of separation lakini mungu aliyetuita but the god has called anakataa kubagwana kwa makabila god does he hate yeye ana na watu wote ni sawa. He see all people the same. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise God. Hapa Kingdom Life, here in Kingdom Life, tunamkaribisha Mbembe. We welcome Wabembe. Tunamkaribisha Mushi, siyo Mushi. We welcome Mbashi. Mbashi? Eh, yeah, Mbashi tunakaribisha Mbashi. mbashi. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Eh, yeah, tunakaribisha uh, wa 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 wale wanaosimamia wa Fileo. Eh, yeah. Kinwa, tunakaribisha Kinwa. <laughs> welcome wa Kinwa. Haleluya. Amen. Na katika mambo yetu tunaekana sawa tu. And, uh, and everything we we walk together. Ukijifanya mjanja tunakuweka sawa kwa jina la Bwana. And when you when you try to act up we put you in your place. Amen. Amen. Yes. Haijalishi unatoka wapi kama unavaa suruali hapa au huko chini. It doesn't matter where you come from whether you put your pants here or you put them down here. Haleluya. Amen. Kama unatengeneza rangi ya ngozi yako ni mwanaume sawa tu karibu. And, and if you, if you if you treat your skin man sisi tunapenda watu wote we love all the people amen amen 
Amna shida kama Kiswahili kinakupa shida. It doesn't it's not a issue if it's Au kama lingala inakupa shida amna shida. Even if lingala is an issue. Hallelujah. Amen. Tunaiona tu tumbo. We understand. Nataka ili kanisa liwe namna hiyo. I want this church to be like that. Amen. Amen. Unajua kwa nini? Why? Mungu aliyetuita. The God who has called us. Yuko hivyo. He's that way. Hallelujah. Amen. Sasa sisemi kwamba makabila yetu yako perfect. I'm not saying that uh, that our tribes are perfect. Kila kabila la mtu lina mambo yake. Each tribe has its own thing. Hata mimi la kwangu nikianza kukufunulia mambo mambo. Even man when I start revealing some stuff. Tunaelewana? Do we understand? Kwa hiyo kwenye ukweli tunaelezana ukweli. And the truth we speak truth. Lakini tunapendana na tunakaribishana. And we love and we invite people. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise God. Kwa sababu mbinguni because in heaven haya mataifa yote hapa. All these nations. Washinua wapo kule juu. What the Chinese are over there. Okay. Wapo kule juu. They are over there. French people wako kule juu. The French people. Sasa wewe ukianza kujibagua bagua huko chini. So if you start to discriminate yourself here. Ujue yani uanze kujiandalia mbingu yako hapo mwenyewe. You need to find your own heaven. Yaani uende kabisa waombe kwamba mimi ni kifo anitengenezee mbingu yangu. Just go and beg them when you die to find to have your own have your own heaven. Kwa sababu mbingu ya baba hauendi. Because the heaven of my father you're not going. Amen. Amen. Tutaishia hapa kwa leo. We we'll finish here for today. Mungu awabariki. May God bless you. Mbona nifunge kwa maombi? Let me pray. Jehovah mwaminifu katika jina la Yesu. Ninakushukuru kwa upendo wako mkamilifu juu ya watoto hawa wa mfalme. Asante kwa wale ambao wamepata wakati wa kufika kuabudu. Mungu ninaomba wabariki sana sana sana. Mkono wako usiwapungukie. Wakumbuke Jehovah. Zaidi waweze kulitia jina la Mungu. Naomba vijana wetu wasitie majina ya masuperman, ma heroes mbalimbali. Wasitie majina ya vitu wanaangalia kwenye videos na movies. Vitu wanafundishwa na walimu wao bali wamjue Yesu, wamkamate Yesu. Saidia watoto wetu mfalme, wajue Yesu kuliko kitu kingine chochote. Na pale wazazi tunapokosea mfalme, tusaidie Mungu, watoto wamngangania Yesu. Tuachie Yesu kama urithi. Hata tuliondokapo katika dunia hii, tuwe tumewachia utajiri wa kimungu katika jina la Yesu. Baba ninaomba jina hili lipate kuagusa watu katika jina la Yesu. Kama uko unahitaji lolote nyosha tu mkono mimi naomba muda huu. Baba katika jina la Yesu. Jina hili likawapatie mahitaji watoto wako. Unajua magumu wanayopitia. Kama ni magumu ya fedha, kama ni magumu ya afya, Mungu waguse kwa unema yako katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Baba ninaomba mfalme ukaponye mahali ambapo panaugua katika jina la Yesu uainue Jehovah mwaminifu katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Bwana watu wako na mipango, Mungu wasaidie mipango hiyo ifanikiwe kwa utukufu wa jina lako Jehovah katika jina la Yesu tunaomba. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. See you on Bible study.